Hello everybody, welcome to Daily Entomologist and in this uh, little tutorial for building your insect collection I'm going to go over how I make my labels for my insects. Alright, so simply put, labels are extremely important in your collection. They give valuable data to each speci uh, specimen you have and gives a insect a value um, in it in a, in a collection, especially if you're uh, eventually giving it to a museum or university for their collection. Um, it's good to have labels on them with the uh, data. Um, So I'm gonna go show. I'm gonna go through real quick. Uh, I have done a label tutorial before, but those were with my old labels, and I since uh, redone them a little bit. Um, so I'm just gonna show you real quick. So you see my old label on the left side, the large one, and my new label on the right side is my is our one is the labels I use now. So the video before I was doing video on the left label, but now I'm doing the tutorial on the right label. And I'll actually add in the video at the end here. Um here up on the screen of the other uh label uh, video so you can watch that one and you can kind of choose what kind of style label you want um, so nowadays I use uh, four line labels so as you can see you got uh, one two three four and that's the uh, consists of one uh, label right there um, so I use Excel and I kind of reformatted the page um, so I have like the four, then I have a little space right there, then I have another four underneath there, so there's that space. So all of that is a label, space, uh, label, then the space and continues that down. Um, I, from, I uh, formatted each uh, la uh, cell label or label cell uh, to 4.5 or 6 pixel, uh, pixels in height. And 6.57 in width. Um, and for font, I use size three. So I'm actually gonna zoom in here more than I usually am. So you can better see um, what I'm writing. So for example, on my labels at the very on the very top row. I do state and county. So do uh, Colorado, Larimer County. Um, now, obviously, um, like if you're in the U.S. and you have uh, insects from other countries, you want to put the country on top on the label as well. And then the next two lines are reserved for location. Uh, so, um, example, I'm going to put Hewlett Gulch Trail, um, and that is located in the Roosevelt National Forest. Um, I see I just abbreviated national so I can fit it all on there. Um, well, that should go right there. And that should go right there. And in the last row, I put the collector. Uh, 
I just spelt my name wrong. And then the date. So, uh, 20 August 2020. And that label is complete. And then I just uh, copy and paste how many labels I need of how many specimens I collected at that location that day. And that's a simple label to create as a look, uh, the minimum stuff you need, a uh, location and the date. Um, other collectors add a second label with like a more descriptive like plant they found it on, how it was caught. Um, honestly, you can pretty much put uh, anything on the second label. But as long as like the uh, first label has the location and the date as a bare minimum. Um, so, it's nothing too exciting. Um, doing labels can be uh, quite tedious, especially if you have a lot of specimens. Um, but something you, uh, you should do, and if you take uh, collecting uh, seriously and uh, field of entomology seriously, definitely something you have to do. Um, uh, my old labels, um, if you watch the other video, I also added uh, latitude and longitude coordinates, but I felt that was pretty much redundant with the other two labels, uh, or other two lines of locale, so I got rid of that and uh, condensed the label down, and now that saves a lot of room in my collection. Um, and uh, just to uh, a little, uh, cheat sheet right here. After I make a label for a location, I actually separate, make different uh, tabs for different states. So I have uh, all my Colorado labels, I have Arkansas labels, Wisconsin labels, uh, Texas labels. So every location I have a label for, I put in the repro uh, um, in the state where I collected it. And then if I ever go back to that location, I already have the labels pre-made and I'll just have to change the date. Um, so that, uh, just a little uh, trick right there to make stuff easier after uh, collecting in a location. Um, yeah, so boring video, but a uh, necessary one if you're going to do labels, if, if you're keeping a collection and you're going to do labels. Uh, so hope you liked uh, this video. Have any questions, feel free to comment below. Um, remember, this is just my personal style. Uh, other collectors have their own style labels they like to do. Um, uh, and all that type of stuff. So comment, like, subscribe. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time.